Prophet Tom here and we're starting the day in God's Word. We're continuing to look at the book of Acts and our text today is found in Acts 11 and verse 12. Then the Spirit told me to go with them, doubting nothing. Moreover, these six brethren accompanied me and we entered the man's house. We're still looking at the revelation around Cornelius, how that Cornelius received a vision, as did Peter. And here we see that Peter's relaying the testimony of what happened in that house. And he said here, And the Spirit told me to go with them, doubting nothing. You want a revelation? You want to be used of God? You want to see supernatural events happening in your life? Then the Spirit says, go without doubting. The problem today is we doubt too much. You know, we look at the coronavirus and our environment around us, and the only thing that I'm seeing in a great extent amongst the church is fear is fear let's go back to the early church and you know they they weren't allowed to meet in uh, proper places or houses they hid in caves to have meetings look at the church in china the greatest growth of the world is the church in china and yet it's illegal for them to meet uh, you see they're not fearful they know what they want in God and they do it. You know, the Word of God, here we see the Word of God tells us the Holy Spirit is looking for obedience. You know, your neighbors are hurting. This is the greatest opportunity in our lifetime to reach out and see the lost one. The reason we're not doing that is we're not hearing the word of God. We're listening to the news. We're listening to the environment. We're listening to what governments are telling us. We're listening to what people are saying to us. And we're not hearing what the Spirit of God is telling us. And then if those who are hearing the Spirit, if they're not obedient, then they're failing to enter the supernatural realm. Christ is our greatest example. And in Mark chapter one, uh, 5, verse 1, he t we, we read this. Then they came to the other side. Now here's the story of the possessed man. And Jesus received revelation. The Holy Spirit spoke to him and said, Go. And we never see that Christ doubted in any way. He got in that boat. He went across to the other side. The moment he got to the other side, the demon-possessed man came down to meet him. And at that moment, he was set free and delivered. Another powerful revelation for us is found in the book of Galatians and chapter 5 and it says in verse 16 here we see three powerful keys to hearing the voice of the Holy Spirit to obeying the voice of the Holy Spirit to being transformed by the voice of the Holy Spirit which will result in us operating without doubt it says in verse 16 I say then, walk in the Spirit. Are we walking in the Spirit? You know, when you get up this morning and you're rushing around and you're doing this and you're doing that to get ready to go to work or wherever you're going, have you spent time in the Holy Spirit? Now, you know, my body functions in such a way that I wake up 3.30, 4 o'clock every morning speaking in tongues, getting ready to walk in in the spirit we must walk in the spirit church then i walk in the spirit 
and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh you know we challenge we we are challenged in the flesh every day the, you know fear tries to get in anxiety tries to get in should i go to the shops uh, you know will i get this coronavirus if i go out no 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 walk in the spirit and the environment of this world cannot touch you for it says for the lust uh, for the flesh lust against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh and these are contrary to the one another so that you do not do the things that you wish but verse 18 gives us the second key and verse 18 says be led by the spirit this is what happened with peter in uh, in in acts chapter 10 and 11 he was led by the spirit church we need to be led jesus when he crossed that river that lake he was led by the spirit and it says but if you are led by the spirit you are not under the law you're not under what government says you're not under what the law of the or religious formats uh, we are different you know we are transformed we are led by the spirit what an exciting walk uh, it is to be led by the spirit uh, and then the last one it says in verse 25 if we live in the spirit let us also walk in the spirit uh, you know we need church listen to me we as spirit beings god created us as spirit beings so we need to walk in that realm we need to be led in that realm and we need to live in that realm we are not human beings we are spirit beings don't allow the humanistic things of this world to dictate in your life uh, to bring confusion so that you don't hear the spirit and what the spirit is saying step up no matter what the cost is step up and obey the spirit and go and you will enter the supernatural realm let that be the desire of your heart today well our time is gone it's a joy to see those on this morning that are on and those that will listen through this day share this word we are spirit beings guys we need to live as spirit beings not as human beings well this is prophet tom have a great day looking forward to being with you this afternoon where we're talking about opening the mysteries of god bless you